Okay, so what's going on here? Well, we have five and we have an exclamation mark. So what does this mean? Well, does it mean that we say five very loud like five? Okay, I'm not going to scream into my microphone. Well, no, that's not what it means, okay? This is some sort of mathematical uh, symbol. It has a, uh, there's a mathematical function, let's say, okay? So the question is, what math symbol is this? And I'm talking to this thing right here. Okay, so if you know the answer to that, go ahead and put that into the comment section. And matter of fact, go ahead and evaluate this. Tell me the answer to uh, what's going on here. And again, this is not you saying five very loud, although that can be a nice little math joke. But uh, anyways, we're going to get into this in just one second. And I'm actually going to show you the solution here. So just hold on in one moment. And then, of course, we're going to talk about this. And if you're like, wow, i never seen this in math before, well, then, you know, hold on because this is going to be great stuff. Very interesting because you're definitely going to see this in more advanced math courses. But uh, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades. And I'm telling you right now, all of you can be successful in mathematics. And that's my message of hope, to, uh, especially for those of you that struggle in math. You're like, no, I'm bad at math. I just always fail all my math courses. Listen, I'm telling you right now, it doesn't have to be that way, okay? If you have the desire to learn math, what you need is great math instruction, clear, understandable, and comprehensive. So if you need help in your current math course or maybe some sort of special test that you're uh, studying for, uh, something that involves mathematics or has a math section on it, things like the GED, SAT, ASVAB, maybe a teacher certification exam, or if you homeschool, check out my math help program. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description of this video. I have over a hundred plus different uh, math courses that cover all these categories. will help you out big time. Now, hopefully you, uh, you're taking great math notes if you are a student. Uh, if you are not, you definitely need to improve your note-taking. This is so, so important to be successful in mathematics. But in the meantime, you can use my notes to study from. I'm going to leave links to those in the description of this video as well. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into what this is saying. And again, it's not saying five very loud. Uh, the answer here is 120. But what is this? Well, this is what we call five factorial. Factorial. That's what this symbol is. It's the factorial symbol. And let me just go ahead and spell that. Factorial. And some of you might be saying, well, I've never seen this before. You're like, hmm, you know, I've never seen that before in math. Well, this is typically taught uh, generally, let's say, at the Algebra 2 college algebra level, second year algebra level. And uh, for those of you that are going uh, to be taking any sort of statistics, probability, things along those lines, uh, you're definitely going to be using this uh, symbol a lot. And it's not that complicated, okay? And it's very, very important in mathematics. But if you knew this was the factorial, and if you knew that 5 factorial was 120, if you figure that out, that's pretty impressive. Matter of fact, you have earned yourself a nice happy face and A plus 100% and multiple stars that you can show off to your friends and family for being so awesome in math today. Nice job. Okay, so we're going to be talking about factorial. So this is a quick, quick crash course on what factorial is. And again, uh, this is uh, something you absolutely need to know when you study probability statistics uh, at a little bit more advanced level, okay? So anyways, let's just talk about what it means and we'll take a look at a couple example problems. Okay, so five factorial, okay? Well, that was the problem, but basically this is the symbol that um, is what we refer to as the factorial symbol, okay, like N factorial. So it's not saying this thing very loud. Of course, you know, a lot of things in life have, um, a lot of symbols that we see or a lot of words have dual phrases. Same thing in mathematics. You'll see one symbol you can use uh, uh, in one way and you can use it in another way. But factorial means the following. Okay, let's take a look at an example of our, our problem here, 5 factorial. Uh, 5 factorial means uh, we want to find the product of the following. We're going to write 5 and then we're just going to go down by 1. We're going to write this number, 5 we're going to go down by one, four, and we're just going to do a countdown all the way down to one. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. This is what five factorial means. Okay. If I had six factorial, I would have six, five, four, three, two, one. 
If I had 3 factorial, it would be 3, 2, 1. It would just multiply these together. So 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. That's going to be, what, 20? Uh, 20 times 3 is 60. 60 times 2 is 120. So 5 factorial is 120. But this is it, okay? Not that complicated. And again, uh, factorial is used in um, things what we call combinations and permutations, okay? You'll see this uh, later on in uh, mathematics, uh, NPR, uh, NCR, all these different things. Uh, I don't want to get too far into it, but if you're at this level of math, you might want to check out like my, oh, probably my pre-calculus course, okay? Or maybe even my Algebra 2 course. Even my Algebra 1 course, I think I do hit on uh, basic uh, factorial equations, uh, permutations, and combinations. But again, this goes to probability and statistic type of problems. Okay, now how we use that, that's a whole separate category. All I'm doing here is introducing you to factorial. Okay, so by factorial, uh, in this particular case, here is how it works. And again, we know that it's 120. But what would be zero factorial? We're like, well, is that zero times, what's zero times zero? No. Zero uh, factorial by definition is one, okay? So any other numbers other than zero, okay? Integer values, by the way, are going to be uh, five, okay? So, I mean, sorry, uh, how we did uh, this particular problem, like five factorial. Now, this is a very, very informal introduction to factorial. So really I wanted, what I wanted to do was capture your imagination, be like, what is this person talking about with this crazy symbol? Now, let's go ahead and talk about how we can use um, factorial to simplify factorial problems. So let's take a look at this problem right here, 8 factorial divided by 5 factorial. Well, 8 factorial, okay, by definition, would be 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, right? 5 factorial, again, would be 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, all this multiplied together. So if we notice, we could just cross-cancel all these like factors right here, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, and simply just multiply 8 times 7 uh, times uh, 8 times 7 times 6, and we'd get the answer. Now imagine, uh, you know, if writing all this factorial out, what if I had like 80 factorial over 50 factorial? Can you imagine writing 80 times 79 times 78? Well, that would be you know, uh, a lot of work, okay? We would end up with kind of a big situation like this, but there's a better way to do factorial problems. And this, again, this is just a quick introduction. There's actually more things, but this is a nice little uh, starter lesson on factorial. So let's take this same problem, eight factorial divided by five factorial, but let's write it this way. We're gonna go eight times seven times six, eight factorials, eight times seven times six times we're going to just remember this part right here. Okay, let me just get back to this problem. This part right here, 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 would be the remainder of what I would have to write for 8 factorial. But this by definition, 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 is the same thing as 5 factorial. So instead of writing the rest of this out, we'll just leave this as a 5 factorial. And I already have a 5 factorial down here in the denominator, so I can just simply cross cancel like that. Like I don't have to write all these numbers out, and that's gonna really uh, help us when we're dealing with larger uh, problems like this. Okay, so real quick introduction to factorial and when you will see it, okay? But you will definitely see it if you uh, plan to go beyond the first year of algebra, okay? So most of you, uh, well, you may, may be, you know, it all depends on what your teacher wants to introduce you to. But, you know, I like to do videos like this uh, to capture, you know, your imagination. Like, what does this mean? What does this possible mean? This has got to be some sort of crazy calculus, some sort of advanced math. No, you know, it's just a function and notation. Don't let the no, uh, symbology and the notations in mathematics scare you away. Because there is, you know, all sorts of crazy mathematical symbols, you know, Things like this, you know, that can be like, what does this mean? You know, uh, what is he talking about? You know, like in calculus, all this other crazy stuff like that. Listen, it's just a language, okay? If you wrote down some, you know, I don't speak, you know, let's say uh, German, but if you wrote German down or uh, Chinese or whatever the case is, you know, I don't understand that language, okay? I mean, I'm pretty good with English, <laughs> You know, but you know, I would it would be I would just be just as lost as interpreting this. It's just learning a language. Okay, don't let 
uh, don't be intimidated by the notations and everything in mathematics. It's not beyond your ability to learn. Okay, so if this video was interesting in some small way, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.